Samsung surprised everyone at the IFA Tech Show in Berlin earlier this year when it promised to begin selling its first 8K television by the end of 2018. Boasting four times the resolution of 4K and 16 times the resolution of Full HD, 8K televisions have been around for a few years now, but only as technical demonstrations of what's possible and what the future might look like. But Samsung said the Q900 would go on sale this year, and now it's fulfilling that promise for a cool $15,000. Although available in three sizes, only the 85-inch flagship will be available in the U.S. at launch for that sky-high price. It is the first TV to use Samsung's Quantum Processor, which uses artificial intelligence to upscale non-8K video into the larger format. So 4K and HD footage, perhaps even standard definition broadcasts, will look much more improved. Yes, 8K footage looks spectacular, but so does upscaled content shot in lower resolutions on this TV. It's a pretty neat trick, which will hopefully convince the seriously well-heeled early adopters this TV is aimed at to part with that significant chunk of cash. That's because there is no 8K footage currently available. No TV stations broadcast in 8K. There are no 8K Blu-ray discs, no games, no Netflix streams, nothing except for the demo footage Samsung used at IFA, and YouTube has an 8K option, but good luck finding a computer capable of feeding it to the TV. Instead, Samsung will be hoping that the Q900 and the headlines it creates will encourage Hollywood streaming services and broadcasters to move into 8K, even if many consumers right now are just jumping on board the 4K bandwagon. That said, the 2020 Tokyo Olympics will be filmed in 8K, at least in some capacity, and broadcast by national broadcaster NHK. So hopefully that will give early adopters at least something to watch. By then, however, it is entirely likely that 8K TV prices will have already begun to fall. 4K screens started at a similarly high price, but fell sharply in the following years, just as HD televisions did in the previous generation. There is some better news for British watchers, however, because UK Samsung is also selling a 75-inch version of the Q900 for $9,000 and a 65-inch model for just $6,500. However, if you're in the US, at least for the time being, you're out of luck on the smaller models. For the most part, robot arms are something we only see in factories, or, you know, in dopey sci-fi cartoons. They're not something we'd encounter in our daily lives, as much as we'd love to have an extra set of arms around to open jars, carry bags, or even set the table. We're still quite a ways off from that level of convenience. But next year, U-Factory aims to get us a little bit closer with what they're calling X-Arm, a consumer-friendly robotic appendage that performs simple tasks. It's not quite Rosie the robot, but at least it can pour you a cup of coffee if you want it to. The X-Arm isn't the company's first foray into robotics. The U-Arm Swift from 2017 is a model aimed at programmers and makers that costs about 800 bucks with a number of optional accessories like 3D printing and laser engraving kits. It's obvious at first glance that the $3,599 X-Arm has a lot more to offer. It's encased in a smooth white carbon fiber chassis and boasts up to seven axis, allowing for a wide range of movement and a reach of over two feet. It can do basic machine tasks like pick up and place or loading and unloading with its internal sensors adjusting the amount of pressure and strength it applies so that it doesn't accidentally crush or throw what it's picking up. It seems to be a pretty smart arm. <laughs> One demo on U-Factory's website shows the X-Arm pouring wine into a glass and picking it up. Things get a little more advanced when you factor in the various attachments U-Factory plans to sell, which go beyond a basic gripper hand into accessories like a camera or even a personal massager. Though it has muscle, the X-Arm itself isn't very heavy. At 22 pounds, its maximum load varies by the number of joints. The X-Arm 5 
5 can hold 13 pounds, while the X-Arm 7 is limited to 7.7 .7 pounds of weight. It's rated for water resistance, meaning you can place it on your kitchen counter and not worry about the occasional splash. But it won't be washing your dishes, at least anytime soon. Besides not being all that waterproof, a task like that would take a good deal of programming, perhaps more than the typical consumer has the patience for. You'd be better off just cleaning your kitchen yourself. It would take less time than teaching the X-Arm all the necessary steps anyway. And finally, happening in this week's What The? Surveillance video shows a burglar's attempt to break into a Maryland restaurant until the entire thing backfires. A man was seen trying to break the bulletproof glass by throwing a brick at it, but instead it bounced back and hit him in the head. The crushing blow sent him to the ground, and he was unconscious for at least a few minutes, according to the video. Police said this was the third time the suspect tried to break the glass, and all three attempts were unsuccessful. Thanks for watching your weekly tech update. If you have a story you think I should feature on the program, shoot me an email, djraymcneil at gmail.com. Find us on Facebook at your weekly tech update, and check out our podcast, audio and video versions, available on iTunes, Google, Spotify, and elsewhere on the interwebs. Till next time, I'm Ray McNeil. Good night, world. Your weekly tech update brought to you by Holiday Home Care, Phillip Island, Victoria, Australia. It's your turn to relax.